All right, let's talk about how to put a Western saddle on a horse. You need a saddle and you need a pad. Um, there are all kind of pad options, but whatever pad you choose, do that first before the saddle, okay? What I like to do is I'll get the front of the pad in my left hand, back of the pad in my left, in my right hand, left and right, and then I can put it right on the horse from the horse's left side. Always do this from the horse's left side, because that's why. So take your pad and put it up on top of the horse. Put it high, way too high, and then slide it back down into place. You want to have the front of the pad about at the top of the withers. The withers is this bump right here, so right where the withers meets the neck, kind of draw a line down into that muscle, and that's kind of where you want it to stop. Right about there. You want to have it even on both sides. You want to have it even on both sides. Um, if you can't quite tell, you can step way back behind your horse and take a look at it. Uh, otherwise, just sort of find the middle of the pad and try to run that down. Guesstimate it. Next, we need a saddle. Be right back. Okay. Now you got a saddle. Here's a standard Western saddle. <laughs> is what you got with a standard western saddle, you've got a few different parts. You've got a breast collar, you've got a girth, you've got stirrups, um, a rear cinch, all that stuff that's hanging down on the right side of the saddle, you wanna get that up so it doesn't interfere with putting it on the saddle, and put it on the horse. So if you reach across, get all that up, then grab the gullet right here and the cantle, which is the back of the saddle. You wanna lift it up nice and high, and put it down nice and gentle on top of the horse. Now you still have all this stuff up on top of the horse. You don't want to just fling it over. You might scare the horse. So come around the back of the horse, keeping your hand on, and bring it all down on the other side. The breast collar, we can lay across the neck right here and save it for last. The girth and the rear cinch, just want to make sure they're all kind of hanging down and not twisted. While you're over here, check the offside billet, that part that keeps the girth attached to the saddle. It's probably the most overlooked part of the saddle, so just make sure nothing's fraying and about to break, because if it breaks, that's gonna hurt, all right? So once you have everything down, come back around, back of your horse, and take your stirrup and throw it up and over. If you have a tight stirrup or a really short stirrup, they might fall and hit, whack you in the head. So you can take that and just kind of lay it over the saddle horn. All right, now you look at this stuff. This is your long latigo. It's very long. This is your rear cinch and this is your breast collar. We're going to do this first. This is the part that's going to keep the saddle on the horse. Um, and this is what you want on first. The rest doesn't matter, so please don't do those first. Those will, those will come afterwards. So, I'm going to get everything out of the way so I can get a good look at it. I'm going to reach underneath, grab my girth, bring it back up. You can take my long ladder, go put it down through. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this, and you can see this girth, all the, a lot of girths are different, but this girth has a little belt buckly thingy right here. I don't want to use that today. We'll talk about that another time. I don't want to talk about that today. I'm just going to talk about tying this old timer's knot. Some people call it the Texas T, other people call it the knot, but th this is what I'm going to teach you. I think that this is the safest way to, um, to tie a girth to a horse on a western saddle. So that's what I'm going to show you. It's very simple and it's very safe. Take that free end, put it back through the top, bring it back down through the bottom. Now you notice I'm not, tr I'm not, I'm not making this tight yet. I'm just slowly making the shape of the knot. Once I finish the shape of the knot, then I'll tighten it up to how it needs to be. Then take that free end one last time, put it back through the top ring, but this time bring it towards the front of the horse. Now what I've got is four straps and some extra. I'm gonna now bring this free end across, up underneath the ring, and down through. So now I've made the shape of the knot. There it is. It looks kind of like a men's tie. Now all I need to do to tighten it up because this is really loose, is to grab the outside of those four straps, pull it out and up, it all sort of slide, then I can let go, tighten down the rest of the knot, and that's it. 
This free end, it might tickle them if it gets really long. If you do have a bunch extra right here, you can use this Latigo Keeper right here. You just kind of put it through and just let it hang out, not tight, just kind of keeping it up from tickling his belly. The next thing I want to do is not the breast collar, is the rear cinch if you have one. If you have one, bring that up just like you did the girth. This is about buckle. Just put it through make sure that strap is tucked in. This you don't want it tight. You want some airspace right here. This, the goal of this is not to keep, keep the saddle on the horse like this. The goal of this is just to keep the back of the saddle from sliding up, flying up in the air. So a, a little bit of space is all we need. Next is the breast collar. The breast collar is pretty simple. You just need to make sure it's uh, t untwisted. So what I'll do is I'll grab the end of my right hand and I reach underneath with my left, grab it, and then bring it across the front of his chest. Now as far as where you attach this to, this saddle has a special ring designed for a breast collar. Some of them don't. If they don't, you just attach it to this ring, um, this ring down here. If, but if it does have this, use these, okay? With this one, just kind of guesstimate how you want it. But once again, just like the rear cinch, this doesn't have to be tight. The rule of thumb is a fist. The rule of thumb is a fist. You get what I'm saying? You can fit a fist in there. That's good. Last thing you can you want to do is make sure that this doesn't slide up on his neck. You grab this, put it between his legs, and attach it to the first ring of the girth. There are two rings underneath this girth. The one in the front is for the breast collar. The one in the back is for this little strap that keeps this uh, bucking strap or rear cinch from sliding up back here. You don't want it up back here. It's going to annoy the horse. So make sure that this strap is here, and then this strap goes from here up to the breast collar. That's pretty much it. The last thing you want to do if you're going to let your horse sit here after being saddled is make sure everything you have attached to the saddle is down and hanging. You don't want something to just slip off and slap them in the side, you know, when they're not expecting. Um, that's it. Saddling a horse with a western saddle. Okay, now you rode your horse and you have to unsaddle him. Just make sure you do it in the opposite order that you did it when you put it on, okay? I don't know how many times I've seen somebody jump off a horse and take the girth off first, and then they've got the horse with a saddle on his back with only a breast collar and a rear cinch, and then something slips funny or that girth scares them, and then you've got all crazy chaos. So don't do that. The first thing you want to do when you unsaddle your western saddle from a horse, reach underneath and undo this breast collar um, clasp that's attached to the bottom of the girth. Once that's done, then you can undo the breast collar. What I like to do is, again, reach around, grab it with my right hand, and bring it across the saddle. Once I have that across the saddle, then I can undo the rear cinch, lay it down, and then I can address the girth. Take all of this out, drop the girth, and then you've got this big long thing. Try not to just leave it here, it can flap around and scare the horse or it can drag in some poop and then you'll have to touch it tomorrow. So this is what I do. The important thing is just kind of wrap it around and get it up, but I like to take it about here. Then I'll put a loop up through, grab that loop and pull it down this way. That way, if I just grab this free end, the whole thing just comes out. So again, I'll grab it about here, throw a loop up through, pull that loop down through that first loop. Boom. All right. Now. Let's go to the other side of the horse. Okay, so from this side of the horse, you can see everything hanging down over here. A bunch of things you can do. The easiest would be just to take everything and lay it over. That's great. And then if you put the saddle out, this can dry off. Another thing you can do, and what some of these saddles have built into them, is they have this sort of keeper right here. You can take the girth and just throw it in there. This one too. Throw it in there and then it won't drag on the ground. Um, so once you have all that up, let's go back to the other side. Now I've got everything up and around off the horse, now I can grab it off. What I like to do is just grab everything at once. Some people will grab just the, um, 
just the saddle and then they're left with a horse sitting there with a pad on it. The pad can slip and fall to scare the horse, who knows what. So I just like to get everything off, get it away. So I'll grab everything, front and back, pull it off, and I can go put it away. It's heavy too.